What's up guys, my name is Guy. I play games and talk, and this gameplay footage you're seeing right now is of me playing some gun game on the map Winter Crash. Now I have a lot of fun with this match, this match comes down to the wire near the end, and I hope you watch the entire thing to see uh, who comes out on top. Um, I, I swear it's a really entertaining match, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, that said, before I let the video rock and it's uh, on its own, I just really wanted to talk about uh, the Call of Duty update, the update that was released yesterday. How is it for me? How do I, how, what do I think about it? I think it's a really good update. As it is, it's a really good update. What did they add? They added new ma new maps, quote unquote. They added the maps that were supposed to be there from the beginning, but they, they, you know, they gave them for free, which is good, as they should have from the beginning. Sure, yeah, we have them now, so that's good. Fine. Really happy for that. I'm really happy to see Block again. I can't believe I say that because I, I really don't like Block from... I really didn't like Block back then in COD 4, but I do now. It looks really great. Uh, we got uh, the one on the boat. I forgot what it's called. Uh, la, 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 la. I forgot. I don't, I don't even want to try and remember right now. Um, but yeah, I love how they added the maps. It's really good. Uh, the new game modes, that's really cool. Uh, hard point. Really fun game mode. I've never played it before prior to this Call of Duty game. Uh, so this is my first time playing, uh, this game was my first time yeah. playing Hardpoint and I'm, I'm really happy that they added it. It really works well with the maps of this game. Uh, gun game, of course, as you can see in this video, I'm having a lot of fun in it. I, I really enjoy gun game. It is one of my favorite modes in FPS games, whether it's Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, or Goldeneye, uh, the one on Goldeneye, the remastered one. That was really fun too. Um, but yeah, I hope they add more. I hope they add Infected. I hope they add one in the chamber. I hope they add uh, what what is what is that? Uh, la, 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 la. Sticks and stones. I mean, I know sticks and stones was a is a Treyarch thing, but if they could add it to a Modern Warfare remastered, that would be hilarious. that would be so much fun. I'd, I'd be playing that with my brothers. I'd be playing that online. Hell yeah, I, I would totally get on that. Um, uh, another change, third change that I really, uh, third edition that they had, uh, I'm not sure if this is available in other game modes, but in Search and Destroy, uh, there's a counter, there's a little indicator on the upper left below the, uh, below your radar that shows how many people are left on each team, and this is really helpful in Search and Destroy because before that, people would just open up their scoreboards in the middle of the match to see, uh, how many people are left, and that can be really distracting, uh, in a game like Search and Destroy. Because any moment you could die, any moment someone could just walk up in front of you and shoot you or knife you and having the scoreboard up isn't going to help you with that. So being able to see how many people are left in the game uh, or during a round is really helpful uh, without having to open the scoreboard is really helpful. So that's a really good change. I'm really happy for that. Uh, ooh, supply drops. Oh, God. Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm actually... I actually like it. I, I, I'm going to say it right now. Right now, okay, for this particular update, uh, I'm happy with the supply drops. I'm happy with the skins. I'm happy being able to unlock them without, without having to pay. I'm, I'm happy that they're not adding, they haven't anyway, added anything that would break the game's balance as it is already. I don't have to change the way I play this game because this, these supply drops are only cosmetic. They added skins. They added... Um, they added character models, they added more calling cards, more weapon emblems, uh, I, all cosmetic things, and I'm really happy for that. I look at the skins, and the skins look really sick. None of them look goofy or anything. The only thing I'm probably very skeptical about is the melee weapons, but even then it doesn't really break the experience because it doesn't make melee any better. It's just giving you the option to hold it while you're running around on the map, but essentially it's not going to... It's not going to come out faster than your regular knife would. It's not being hit, hitting the trigger. It's not going to be any different from uh, clicking R3 uh, in terms of hitting someone with a melee attack. Aha. Honestly, I think it's actually a disadvantage to have your melee out before your uh, rather than your gun at all times. So, whatever, man. It's 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 there. It's it looks weird to me. I'm probably probably not going to use it, but I guess for fun it would be okay you know it would make some really funny moments but other than that it's not going to change the way you play you don't have to use them it's not going to make you a better melee attacker or anything like that so uh yeah i'm i'm passive about that mm, my only hope is that yeah they don't add any goofy uh melee weapons uh please don't turn this game into a joke 
As I've said in my video yesterday, uh, with my first reactions to Where? the inclusion of supply drops, Where the Activision can make COD 4 Modern Warfare Remastered into their CSGO. They can build upon this through skins, through um, nothing that will change the game's balance completely. Nothing that will be unfair, nothing that will be pay to win. Okay, they can completely do that with this game. If they if they would just focus on it and not add I don't know what I would and do. continue to focus and patch certain things that people want patched, okay? I know purists out there are gonna be mad at some of the opinions I just stated and some of the opinions a lot of people have stated, but I feel like uh, Modern Warfare Remastered is a chance for them for Call of Duty to be great again, really. Uh, because it's not gonna be great again just if they just copy and pasted Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, okay? It, it was never gonna be great again if they just did that. But if they build upon it and make it into a better game and not make annual releases anymore, that would be amazing. I, I think they could really do it. And of course, you know, release the damn game on its own! Please, please Activision, release the game on its own. Nobody, I, I personally would have bought Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered together just because I, I, I wanted to see if the hate was, if it was worth hating. Yes. Honestly, oh God, it wasn't worth hating, but Infinite Warfare is just not cutting it for me. Modern Warfare Remastered is what's getting me right now. So yeah, I hope you guys release it separately. I also hope you guys don't go to the pay to win bullshit thing because nobody's gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak, honestly. I, I don't want, I love, I love you. I will say this, I love you Call of Duty, I love Call of Duty, but I don't love you Activision because of your shady practices. But if you want me to love you, if you want people to love you again, do not do bullshit like add pay to win services or pay to win uh, functionalities in your game. This game is already no. pretty good. This game is something I feel like I'll be playing no. for a long time, as long as it you don't me. add these things. You I, get, to go I, I don't, yeah, please don't be Konami, me. don't be Konami. Don't be greedy. Oh, man. Don't you be greedy assholes. There. Please don't be Konami. Oh man. <sighs> the first but anyway, yeah. Those are my thoughts on the update. Pretty good so far. Thumbs up. Two thumbs oh, up. Man. Because these skins good look sick. And new models hey. look sick. And I'm hoping for new maps, new gun models. Not new guns. New gun models. Uh, uh, and yeah, new game modes, stuff like that. And I'm worried about them getting greedy and including pay to win stuff. But, you know, like I said, I'm only judging this update as it is now, and right now, it's really good. I'm really happy. Thank you for this update, Activision and Ravensoft, and please don't fuck it up. Anyway, that's the end of the video, or the end of me talking during this video. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any thoughts about what I just talked about, or anything at all under the blue, please comment down below, and I will reply to you. I promise you that. I will try my best. I, I will, I promise to reply to you, okay? And please, uh, subscribe if you want to see more Call of Duty or other gameplay or other videos of other games, blah, 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 blah. And also, if, you, if you'd be so kind to share this video as well with other people, I'd love to get more views. I'd love to reach out to more people because this is something I really want to do. I really like talking to people. I really like voicing out my opinion. I really love playing games and entertaining people. So, yeah. Please enjoy yourselves as well, and as always, spread love and always, see ya!